Welcome to TV TV Sport for Wimborne Town versus Walton and Hersham in the Southern League Premier South. <laughs> Whilst I introduce you to today's officials, Thomas Farr, Steve Fall and Thomas Farlow, let's also have a look at the inaugural league table, which sees we've got Walton and Hersham in fifth and Wimborne Town in sixth. Both clubs making respectable starts. Today's visitors to the White Home Stadium, as it is now known, finished three points outside the playoff spots last season. So this will act as a good measure for Wimborne as they try and gauge the gap between the Southern League Division 1 South and this Premier Division. Anyway, that's enough rabbiting from me. Let's have a look at the squads, the starting 11s, and get the highlights rolling. The home side started the game brightly were industrious in midfield and started to create a few chances. Connor Cocklin there, rattling the crossbar. So as you can see, lots of chances created, but none taken. And that have proved to be the difference between the teams in the end. <laughs> Although that one from Anis Nur proved to be the worst effort of the match. That effort from Cocklin was on the 35 minute mark and things were about to take a turn for the worse for the Magpies. A Wusu is felled in the box and the referee has no doubts. Abusu steps up to take his own penalty and slots it away, putting the Swans 1-0 up on the 36th minute. <laughs> Moments later, a shot from Obing is cleared off the line by Harvey Wright. Straight down the other end and the Magpies create a golden chance. Cam Munn feeding Matty Burrows. Parker stands tall and blocks out the shot and you could hear it from the bench. Take your chances. Because just a moment later we're back down the other end. Nur finishes smartly, finding the back of the net instead of the touchline. It's 2-0 to the Swans. Yeah! 
And just before the half finishes, Walker has just enough time to get the ball, maybe take the man, but definitely end up in the referee's book. We're eight minutes into the second half and somehow Mason Oben comes out from this mess with the ball. One beautifully weighted ball to Joel Powell later and he puts a cross in for David Rogowski. A perfect header at the far post finishes off a beautiful move and is three goals from three attempts on target. A misjudgment by Barker down the other end gives Cam Munn a chance. Sixty-eight minutes in, and it goes from bad to worse. Walker's complete inability to transport his body from one part of the pitch to the other means that he gets his second yellow and a red, and he's off on the sixty-eighth minute. Like, where's he supposed to go? I suppose the only saving grace of that decision is that the game was pretty much done and dusted by then, anyway. And then on the 90th minute mark, the pièce de résistance. Beautiful little dink by Nur finds Cam Thompson in the box and he pokes it past Ross Flitney. Yeah! And if you keep in track, that's four goals from four shots on target. But, and I'm sure I'm not being too controversial, this didn't feel like your usual 4 0 The Swans were clinical in their approach and flawless in their execution. And, undoubtedly for me anyway, I think they'll be right up there at the end of the season. So there we go, that was that. Wimbledon Town nil, Walton and Hersham 4 and the Magpies move on to a bank holiday derby match against Paul Town. I hope you enjoyed the highlights, if you did don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. Next up from me will be highlights from the somewhere around the 21st of September because I'm on my holidays for my 30th wedding anniversary. Yep, she's put up me for that long, can you believe it? Anyway, take care, see you later, bye 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 bye.